At least 100 people were killed on Thursday in an attack on a military academy in Syria. With weaponized drones bombing the site minutes after, Syria's defense minister left a graduation ceremony there. It was one of the bloodiest attacks ever against a Syrian army installation and unprecedented in its use of weaponized drones in a country which has faced 12 years of civil war. The state media blamed terrorist organizations for the strike in government-held homes. There was no immediate claim of responsibility. The United States, Russia and Turkey all have troops in the country. The United States has shot down an armed Turkish drone that was operating near its troops in Syria. The first time Washington has brought down an aircraft of its NATO ally. Syria's defense and foreign ministries vowed to respond with full force. Syrian government forces carried out heavy bombing attacks on the opposition-held zone of Idlib throughout the day. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said more than 100 people were killed and 125 injured. An official in the alliance backing Syria's government said the toll was around 100. Health Minister Hassan al-Ghobash gave a lower death count, telling state TV 80 people had been killed, including six women and six children, but said about 240 people had been injured. The conflict in Syria has killed more than half a million people since it began in 2011 with a brutal crackdown on anti-government protests.